boys and girls I already said that uh, we are going to have a wonderful night full of wonderment um, there's a couple of things we're gonna have to do you heard that new theme song that's the theme song of uh, of at least of tonight and we're going to learn uh, I'm gonna teach you how to play that theme song it's very easy actually uh, and if not I would not be able to play it so and that's why I'm not gonna teach it to you so, the theme song, I've already written down some, some things, see that? Uh, we're going to go, get to that in a minute. But first, uh, we're also going to uh, taste uh, Warsteiner Premium Verum. It's uh, well, I have no idea what it is, because I'm going to have to taste that soon in my Holstein glass. I only have this Holstein glass here, so. Um, and, uh, and there's something else that I'm gonna, I want to show you. Because I have to tell you something. Last week, Tuesday, and last week, Wednesday, I went to see uh, two concerts. Well, one uh, one day and one on the other day. And after the second concert, I came home with these two sheets of paper. Do you know what these two sheets of papers are? Yes, these are two sheets of paper marked with letters. A lot of letters and an autograph here. This autograph says, Dweezel Zappa. <laughs> I was there two nights in a row, one in Utrecht and one in Tilburg, and this set list was given to my good friend, the drummer of Dweezel Zappa's band, with the curly hair, and the best feel of rhythm, good rhythm feeling he has, the best rhythm, the feeling of rhythm that he has, nobody else has, it's him who has it, and he has the best feeling, and it's my friend, and he gave this to me. And then even didn't even have to ask for it. He just saw me standing there. And then he gave this to me. My good friend with the curly hair. Best curly hair ever. The good curly hair. Great curly hair. Best, best ever. I wanted to share that with you. So I have this and I'm going to hang this someday in the studio here. I'm going to frame it. I'm going to buy some frames for this. And 32 songs. And they played them all. And they were all wonderful. And they were all great and wonderful. The best songs. They are, because they're written by Frank Zappa. Except for the, the Terminator theme they played. Was it? That's from the Terminator, right? Yeah. That's not by Zappa, it's by the Terminator himself, probably. <laughs> so, okay, there we go. Um, you know, because we're going to teach, I'm going to teach you this, uh, the theme song in a minute. Let's listen to it again while I pour my beer out in the glass, drink it, while the theme song goes on, so you can listen to it, get familiar with it, and then I'll take you up and put you there on the ceiling again. And there we go, yeah? There you go, okay. Up okay. Without further ado. <laughs> careful not to press stop because it happened to me once before while I was doing this maneuver that I pressed stop I haven't pressed stop now so that's good <coughs> so uh, this is what we're gonna play Ready? 
etc. Um, as you see, I, I, I came well prepared today. The theme song, the first two chords. Well, I'm going to read out all the chords for you. There you go, there are all of them. C triangle for the lazy jazz bastards. C6, D minor 7, D minor 6, E minor 7, E minor 6. F triangle, the lazy jazz bastards, and the F6. No? Uh, what happens, actually, um, C, E, G, B, that's the first chord. Can you see it? Did you mark it down? Did I see it? And then you drop the top one, the B becomes an A. So, play them twice, one. And then all these things happens, you move your whole hand one white key up and do the same thing. Without even knowing what the notes are. And then you do it again. And again. Okay, and that's it. But I'll write it down for you. So um, then we have uh, D minor 7, that's D, F, A, C, that becomes D, F, A, B. Just again, one change only. Then up again, E, G, B, D, becomes E, G, B, C. And then we have, of course, F, F, A, C, E. My students always like that, that's face. You see that? That's F minor 7, or F triangle, that's face. Face. Ah, face. Okay, and now we have F, C, E, D. It's fuck it. Fuck it. Face as better. Face as I have more luck with face. Okay. Um, you, you can copy them, or you can memorize them. I'll show them to you. Uh, and then here I have LH, that's left hand, that's right hand, this is left hand. So with the two chords, uh, with, the, with, the, uh, with the first chord you play C, second chord play G. Huh? Um, and you play the chords twice and the left hand only once. I'll show you in a second. D, G. Okay, so here we go. No? Show it to you in a second. So here we go. So. Those are the first two chords, or first four chords actually. C major 7, C6, C major 7, 6, C6, D minor 7, D minor 6, D minor 6, D minor 6. And you play those right twice. Start the whole shit over, uh, the whole thing over again. Huh? Okay, this is it. I've written it down. It's so easy. There's nothing to it. Okay, so there you go. Okay, we'll go over the chords again. So you play C E G B, which is this, twice, and then you play the second chord. The B changes to an A. The rest stays the same, and then you do that again. Push the chord until you get tired of those. Now and then you go to D F A C D F A B and then you go to E uh, uh, E G B D E G B C face 
Fakt. And then left. I need more hands in the studio. But there we go. You got that? Good. Let's practice. that little swing you need that little Hollywood Broadway Las Vegas kind of intro when you know white suit walking down the stairs girls with feathers champagne bottles popping everywhere yeah. big band a lot of brass a lot of a lot of showbiz pizzazz yeah so you instead of going one, two, three, four, one, two, you go. that yeah fine uh okay uh, I, oh, uh, da, ha, ha. I knew there was something else that i have to show you uh wait a second i'll have to put you back here in my guitar what do you mean in my guitar yeah in my guitar because you don't know but you're hanging uh, i'll show you where you're hanging normally when i start the show you're hanging here i'm, I'm putting i'm putting the phone behind the strings yeah <laughs> That's what I do. I've been known to do that. So, see? See, I'm gonna shove you right in. Now, I'm gonna shove you like this behind the strings of the guitar. Maybe you can hear it. Hear them? I'm very careful, so maybe you don't hear them. Taking off goes much smoother. See that thing there? There? See this? That's a string. So I'm going to move you a little bit. Ho ho! And there we are. Uh, oh, oh, oh wait. No, 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 stop it. Stop it, stop it. tasting uh, I showed you my set list given to me by my good friend with all the curly hair drummer and, uh, with the weasel Zappa uh, I did the thing with the signs um, I showed you my basketball my Spalding basketball Spalding, 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 whatever no I didn't show you it to you it's also not very necessary um, then I want to end the evening with some solo piano piece that I'm going to improvise on the spot for you guys and gals of course 
written, well, not written, in the key of B minor. Here we go. Thank you. 